Hi everyone, uh, hope you're all having a nice Easter. Um, just going to go through quickly with this video um, my flash tutorial, uh, sorry, my flash um, portfolio even when I was uh, in first year, just to show you what I did um, and kind of some of the methods I used uh, to achieve certain things. Um, so if I come into flash here, um, I'm just going to quickly show you what I did. Um, so go to control play. There we go, and if I command enter and show you the, the portfolio. So you've got I've got a sort of background feed in, I've got my name feed in, I've got three buttons on here then. And you click about um, a bit of information feeds in, click portfolio, I've then got four buttons here where I click and this bit changes uh, to the specific artwork. And then if I uh, contact them, I've got the final page here. Um, so as I said, keep it as simple as you can, you know, sort of keep the transitions minimal um, and make it more about the content rather than anything else. Um, so I'm just going to show you quickly how I put this together. Um, so for example, background here, that's just a very simple fade in. Um, so you've got a keyframe here, um, movie clip. If I just click, click here. Um, oh, sorry, even if I click here, there we go. And then style, I use the alpha and I set alpha to zero, um, and then here alpha to 100%, and then that, when that's uh, set as a, um, a classic tween, uh, that will fade from zero to 100% then. Um, and that setting is really good. Um, alpha, you know, you can change the brightness, tint, and do some other things there. You can rotate as well, and there's a lot of different things you can do with that. So that was the first bit, um, and again, this is all on the main timeline. Um, background fades in. Then uh, my name fades in and comes down again. That's achieved very simply uh, with a movie clip, just with, with type inside. Um, start there, finish there. And then the buttons then, these three about portfolio and contact are all put into um, inside a movie clip, which then fades in from here to here. And then we get down to the, the main bit then. So I've got a layer called actions here, which stops the play. And if I uh, right click, actions, so stop, and then I've got three buttons here uh, that go through to uh, the about portfolio and contact frames, if you will. Um, now, this is a little bit different to the way we did it in lectures, um, and I'll go through that now. And um, the reason for that is my buttons here are not on the main timeline. I've got to double click into here, uh, and now they're on their own timeline. Um, it went inside this this tween or movie clip um, and obviously if I were to right click and apply the code directly to these buttons um, the code would be applying to this timeline here which obviously doesn't have anything on it um, so what I did was used a thing called instance name so if you can see about portfolio contact make sure you're in properties up here go to about now can you see this section here instance name what I can do is name uh, the button anything I want you know I've used button about um, and remember th this I've used the same instance name as the name of the button itself so I've got button about as an actual button but I've also given its name its instance name the same thing just so it's easier for me to remember but by giving it an instance name what you can then do is when you come back to the main timeline if I come here to actions so I've got a bit of code here stop as standard so button about now that's not referring to uh, button about the name of the file that's referring to button about the instance name yeah and obviously you can you can name you can give the instance name anything but I would keep it to the same name as the file you've created um, just so it makes it a little bit sort of easier to remember um, so we're saying button about on release go to and stop about button portfolio on release go to and stop portfolio button contact go to and stop contact and again, in the last um, tutorial, I used 1, 2, and 3, or frame 10, frame 15, frame 20. You can see here I got about portfolio and contact. Now, how did I achieve that? Well, very simply, if I come down to here, my label section, or my, um, my pages, if you want, I've got three pages here, 1, 2, 3, and I'll go through why there's nothing there in a moment. Um, and to achieve that, all I used was use the label tag here. So instead of using frame 76, frame 77, frame 78, 
which you perfectly fine to do. I could put 76 there, 77 there, 78 there. Instead, I've given them a label. And when you give someone a label, you'll see this little um, kind of red flag appear above it. Um, and the good thing about that is if I were to sort of grab these three and say move them up or down, obviously then they would move off 76, 77, 78. So the code wouldn't work. But as long as I keep the instance name, uh, the, the label name the same, I can put these three pages anywhere on this timeline and the, uh, the code here uh, will still pick them up. So it's another sort of um, you know tool you can use. If you use instance names for um, items on, on screen and you can also label um, frames so you know you can tell the code to go to, to which one um, and I'll I'll send you this code as well so you can you can use this and drop in your own um, instance names and uh, frame numbers or frame labels as you go um, so again very simple bit of code um, and that just says stop and then you know when you click about you go to this frame when you click portfolio you go to this frame when you click contact you go to this frame so let's go into these um, frames now. Now, why is this nothing there? Well, basically, if we double click into this, we're on the about section now. Double click, and you can see this is inside a movie clip. So I've got alpha again. If I click that, the alpha is set to zero. The alpha there is set to a hundred, um, and this this movie clip is called text about. Obviously, the other ones will be called text contact, text um, portfolio. Um, and I've also put actions, I put a stop at the end of here so that when I'm on this frame or when I'm on the about page, it doesn't keep fading from zero to 100 and then going back so it doesn't keep doing this basically. Um, you know, it does it once and then stops. If I double click into text about, there we go, I've just got a simple bit of text that I've uh, dropped in. So that's dropped inside a movie clip which is then dropped in on the main scene. Um, and again, you know, this is kind of where it starts to get a little bit complicated but it really does depend on the um, the amount of animation you want to do. So let's come back to scene one. So this now is my um, portfolio section. So if I double click into here. Uh, oh, sorry, come back out. No. Oh. Let's double click into this one. There we go, that's what I wanted. So again, I've done the same thing here. So I've got a movie clip fade portfolio. Um, and everything within this then simply, I've got this setup as a, a movie clip. Uh, the alpha has gone from zero to 100 here and I've right click put a stop in. If I double click into this movie clip, I then get to um, this section here, which is basically kind of mimics what's on the, the, the main screen. So I've got an actions layer, I've got a buttons layer, and I've got um, a portfolio layer. And you can see my buttons then, you know, I've got a button uh, for start, button for global sport, button for rescue, and button for neon. And those buttons dictate which frame goes on here, or which frame you go to when you click through. Again, my actions, exactly the same, stop, Button for start, remember instance name, go to and stop one, two, three, and four, uh, depending on the um, the button you click. I could have put labels in here, but I thought I'm only going to do four frames and this isn't going to move anywhere. So, you know, this, this should be simple enough. So I double click off that. Um, now, if you see on the labels here, now these, this, you know, if you can't see anything, why is that? Well, it's because the alpha is set to 0%, because then if I uh, click on this layer here, Double click into here. I've then got another movie clip then, which um, basically fades in this bit of artwork from 0% um, alpha to 100%, and I put a stop on the end as well, so that it only does it once. So can you see how you know from scene one I've gone into um, gone onto the portfolio label. I've then uh, portfolio frame even. I've then double clicked into movie. Uh, clip fade portfolio within that movie clip portfolio and then within that movie clip for starts um, so it can get quite kind of deep depending on the level of animation you want to do um, and the kind of stuff how complicated you want to make it yeah come back to scene one and then obviously then the final page then is the contact page which works in exactly the same way um, as the about page if I double click into this one it's simply just um, text contact and that just fades in. And if I double click into text contact, I've literally just got a block of text which 
just has my telephone and email number and come back to scene one. Um, and there we go. So that is a very simple flash portfolio, um, which I put together for my first year project uh, using a combination of um, instance names, uh, labels, um, and different, you know, I, I used um, the alpha fade in to fade out, you know, on pretty much all my animation. Um, but, you know, there's, there's brightness, there's other things you can do. But remember, you've got to convert these things to movie clips um, to, to be able to fade from one frame on 0% um, classic tween it to um, 100% uh, on another frame. Um, so if I just click one more time, command and enter, Dale Johnson, the buttons fade in. Click about, takes you to that page, portfolio, very simple, and then contact as well. So if I can give you any advice for this um, uh, project, guys, it is keep it as simple as possible, you know, keep your animation to a minimum and just, you know, make sure that it's, um, it's all about the content more than anything else, um, you know, get some good visuals in there. Um, and have a play around with this. I'll put this file online for you as well, so you can kind of go in and, and have a look and, um, uh, you know, kind of work out how I've done certain things. Um, and when you're happy with that, uh, move on to the next tutorial.